All right, guys. So have another question on the form today. Uh, this person is looking to taper hair collisions. Uh, I will just kind of go through briefly of what this person want to do. So basically, as you can see, these are um, the collision thickness that he or she has set up. And I believe they probably want like tapering in the beginning, uh, in the roots, because for hair to be a uh, hair collision to be this thick in the in the roots probably not too good because you know they they could potentially be fighting with each other um meaning like jittering uh or uh, they could be stuck to each other so you probably do want to have a taper in the uh towards the roots where where this is going to be more hair coming together uh, closely uh, he or she then trying to figure out maybe this is some sort of expression or mail script that you know you can do to taper the the thickness. So uh, I'm just gonna show you guys how this is gonna work. Uh, you don't need to do expressions and you don't need to do any scripting, which is probably the best thing, right? Like you know you want to do things easy way without without sort of coding things. Um, Anyway, let's start creating a curve and then we're going to hair make select a curve dynamics. Uh, then we'll play. So the curve is moving, right? It's good. So then we have a uh, end hair happening. And then we're going to go to collision and we'll check out our thickness. Uh, you can probably see the thickness is really small at the moment. So I'll, I'll thicken it up for you guys to see. Uh, collide with offset. Well, what happened? Okay, here we go. We already selected. And here it's kind of weird. Sometimes it doesn't really refresh properly. So you kind of have to, you either have to rewind it twice or I don't know, you, you play one frame and then rewind it again. But anyway, we're seeing here it's a very uniform. It's a one size all the way through right and we want to taper the ends and then maybe have a thicker in between in the middle uh what you want to do is actually to go up the clump and the hair shape it's kind of weird because this seems like it's for grooming but when it comes to hair thickness we can actually do something here which is called the hair width uh in here you can do let's say one and if i let's say i would rewind Notice how this gotten bigger, so we can even do like a five, right? And it's like super giant sausage. Uh, and then we'll turn down this guy, actually. We won't do the offset on there. Um, so there you go. Notice how this one's already tapering in the end, right? So let's, let's check out what's happening. Basically, the hair width is using the hair width scale. Uh, you have a graph here that is going to affect which part is going to taper. So let's say if I want to taper it even more, I can actually drag down this part of the point even lower and maybe closer. And if I rewind it, go for one frame maybe. See how it's getting smaller? And if I want to taper the other end, I can do something like this. You know, again, there you go. Now we are tapering both ends. So yeah, you know, no script, scripting or expression needed. It's just, just about hair with a skill um, that you adjust here. Now you can obviously still do the offset if you want. Uh, we can just come here, maybe do something like that. And then overall we can get a thicker uh, hair so yeah that's uh that would be the q a for the day hopefully that solve you guys problems on your projects or work and then help you move on to your next stage or next issues but yeah hopefully this help you guys out Alrighty, talk to you guys later bye bye